What is going on guys? Mobile Carry News here. And in this video, I'm going to show you just I want to show you lots of screenshots of the speed tests I was I was taking when I was in LA. They were very interesting speed tests. Um as you can see here, I was uh, I was still in Orange County and this is basically this is when I'm passing by basically Anaheim. Uh I'm like it was basically surrounded by mountains. And as you can see, I'm was getting a hundred down, and I was getting like a hundred and um, hundred and about ten point sixty two up. The the millisecond ping was thirty seven. As you can also see here, I was like I was basically in a um, I was basically in in a in a group chat with uh with Speed Tech and a bunch of other um speed testers. We were having an interesting conversation about. Just, uh, just in, just anything like speed test. I was, I was telling them what kind of speed I was getting. Uh, we were talking about all three carriers, and it was an interesting conversation. We, we talked about for basically like an hour, while the while I was he uh, heading up to LA, and it was a nice conversation. We talked for quite some, we quite some time. I'm surprised my battery lasted because I was, I was basically in LA at around like. I think uh, at around, I think I, I forget what time I arrived. I think like at ten or something, but uh, I was there from like ten to like three. I'm surprised my battery lasted the whole way, uh, the whole time. But I'm just gonna scroll by here. As you can see, I was doing those speed tests. I got 108 down, 49.7 up, with a ping of 36, and a 20 and a 23 millisecond jitter, and i'm not i'm gonna be real honest this is insane i don't go to l i don't so uh i don't go to l a a lot so <clears throat> we took a different road uh actually no yeah we took a different side of the freeway um at first i thought it was fa uh fast track basically you know where they charge you um for taking the faster lane they charge you like a one time thing i think it's like fifty bucks or something or whatever it is but um i don't i think we took a i think we took a new road that I've never seen before, and I was, <clears throat> I was basically going uh, beside mountains, and I was getting phenomenal ultra wideband in those mountain areas, and I was kind of, and I was kind of shocked because, like, w like when you're passing by these two, the uh, your left and right side, where you just see mountains and just nothing, it it's like not like a residence, it's not like any or business downtown. It, I was surprised you get ultra ultra wideband. I guess. I don't know if Verizon realized people, people passing by a lot of mountains uh, use their internet, even though you shouldn't be because you're driving, you could cause car accidents. <clears throat> That's beside the point. The, beside, uh, the point was I was getting phenomenal speeds. I'll shoot another one here. I was getting uh, 215 down and 16.7 up, which is, you know, it's still, it's still, you know, it's still good. Um, the ping, uh, t ping was 33 milliseconds. Jitter was nine milliseconds. I would scroll here. Here's another one. I was getting 165 down and 6.14 up. Um, you know, it, it uh, depending on I was moving basically nonstop. You know, going on the freeway. So these were the speed tests I was taking, and this is this is pretty insane to me. I was getting I was getting somewhat close to LA, still not close. I think I was passing by Long Beach area, and then after passing Anaheim, I was getting just on 5G. Regular, literally 5G. I'm not sure if this was, this is, um, I was thinking maybe this could be mid-band, but if it was mid-band, I'd be getting constant speed of this. I was getting 220 down, 220 down, and I think the other one was, uh, did I take a screenshot of the other one? Yeah, I was getting, <clears throat> actually, did I take a screenshot of the whole thing? Yeah, so, uh, no, this is a different one. So, I was getting 221 down, and I was getting 50 up, just on regular 5G, which is insane. Now, if you were now if if you were to use this, and you had a data cap, you would bl you would blow this out of the water. You would be past your limit because two hundred and twenty one down and fifty up is just insane to me. As you can see there, the millisecond ping was forty one and the jitter was uh, seven. And this is this is insane. This is super fast. Something like this is it looks like it should be with ultra wideband, but it's not. It's just rig. It's just five G, and it's really fast five G. Um, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is really good low band, because like I said, if it was mid band, I'd be getting in in a lot of areas. I would get caught, I would get nonstop 
super high uh, super fast speed 5g mid band but i think this was upgraded low band um unfortunately because i was moving around i didn't see which tower uh had this there was multiple towers i'm pretty sure each had good connection um and i did a speed test with at&t as well um because i because i had one of one of my parents uh, one of my parents phones with me and um and i was doing a speed test and th they were getting really good speeds too even on regular 5g but this is a this is insane speed i've scroll here i'm we're, keep in mind i'm still i'm still on 5g now this is even even in more insane speed 230 down and 150 up uh, let me see if i okay I, I didn't actually take the whole screenshot of this but this is this is the fastest i've seen the ping is 34 J the jitter millisecond is 6 I've never seen a ping in a mill and a jitter like that before. Let alone getting two hundred and thirty down and one hundred and forty up. That is insane. That will blow your data cap in a minute. But yeah, this is where I basically was. I was basically in the middle of Lakewood and Long Beach, and I might I say I think that I think they're upgrading Long Beach to a phenomenal. They're finally upgrading it because I think the last time I went there was maybe. Uh, maybe feel uh, maybe two three months ago, maybe four. Um, so basically, as you can see right here, I was doing the speed test. Let's see the let's see the different times. So nine forty eight, nine forty seven. So I was basically right here in this area, passing by, and I was getting really high speeds. And then as I, as soon as I hit the middle to where Long Beach and Lakewood is, right as you can see right there, right before you hit LA, I was um. I was getting this speed, and that is that is fast. That is a that is insane amount of speeds. Like I said, I've never gotten two third two hundred and thirty down, and one hundred and fifty up, just with five G. Something like this, I usually get with ultra wideband, and it counts towards my ultra wideband data, and not my full data. But this is just some insane speeds. I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious to see where this is at, so I can just do constant speed tests, but. As you can see, the battery is holding up pretty well, even though I was doing this uh, re repeated P speed test. You scroll here, I was basically there, and this I was in the middle, and I was getting here 118 down, and seven, let's see if I took a full screenshot of this. No, I did not, 7.82 up. Now, the next one is gonna be very shocking because I haven't, I've seen speed tests of this in other videos, but I've never captured this before ever. As you can see here, 5G ultra wideband, Ping millisecond 32, jitter millisecond 4. I was getting 557, 53 down, and I was getting about, I think, did I take a full screenshot? No, I did not. I was getting 35.16 uh, up. That is insanely fast. That is insanely fast. You could download, I could download a net, if I, if I was on the road, or if I was in this precise area, I could download uh, 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 I could download a Netflix show or a full movie in less than a less than ten minutes, I assume, because this is just this is the fastest I've seen. Um, hopefully in the future they they put they jump this up to a gig, and maybe the upload speed maybe to like two, three, four hundred because that'd be insane to me. Um, obviously the ping would change and also the jitter millisecond, but that is really fast speeds right there. I was I was shocked and impressed by those kind of speeds. As you can see, I was passing by um, Torrance and Long Beach. As you see here, I took another screenshot. I was basically, I was basically going up here to Burbank, up here, and I did a little bit of speed test there. But I was basically almost halfway there. As you can see, um, I, I'm I'm basically here now. Well, actually, no, I wasn't really. I was still I was still in this area, not really not really in LA yet. I think I was I think I was close to heading to Inglewood. And as you can see, I was still getting insane uh, ultra wideband. I was getting 423 up with a ping of millisecond 25. And uh, I was also, oh, I do not like those three sixes. Um, I was getting the jitter at the millisecond three. This is this is pretty good speeds, I, I might ask. Um, like I said, I was on the road. I didn't have time to, um, to actually check what bandwidth and what tower this could be because but I'm pretty sure because of the movement, you could uh, it would it would bounce around, it would jump, it would jump just back and forth. It'd be very tricky to um, to see what kind of um, what speeds this is. But if you keep scrolling, as you can see here, I was uh, on regular 5G. I was getting 192 down, 192.70 down, and it was getting about. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take a screenshot of what this upload was, 
But as you can see the jitter, uh, millisecond 17, ping was uh, millisecond was 49. Now we, I go back to, I jump back to ultra wideband as you can see here, and I was getting 307 down, and I was getting 38 uh, up, which is you know it's not, it's it. I'm pretty sure something like this. I say you could use some improvement. I'm sure they'll improve it over time. As you can, I'm going to scroll more to another one, uh, as you can see here. And this is just this is still crazy speeds to me. I was basically getting 439 down. Uh, I don't know how much I was getting up, but that is pretty some crazy speeds. Uh, as you can see, I'm also going to move uh, real quick here. I was basically um, so this is like one of the uh, this is some of the um, some of the restaurants I wanted to eat. Um, I was debating between these two, and I was also fa uh, this one was, was a little farther, but I also decided to uh, I decided to go to Toasted Bun. As you can see, I'm going to scroll here real quick, and I did a speed test. As you can see right there. Um, it wasn't the best speed test, but I think that I think that's pretty. I still think that's pretty usable for being inside a restaurant like this. Uh, I was inside this restaurant right here doing a speed test. It was really busy, and the food was ten out of ten. I recommend. It's very far away. It's literally by Burbank. Um, I say it's worth. I say it's worth it uh, going there, but not like all the time because of the drive. But the fact that I was getting ninety three point five down and two point fifty two up, you could. See, it, I mean, if if you have like, if if you if you had like, I don't know, maybe like any of your cousins, any like, if you had kids or anyone that's like just wants to use their phone while being at like at a restaurant, they want to like, I don't know, check the uh, check or see a quick video before the before the before the food comes or see some TikTok. You could you could it's pretty usable for uh, as as far as I know, ninety three down and two point fifty two up. Obviously, the uh, the upload is not really um not really the best i could say i i say that would definitely need some improvement hopefully if i come back here again maybe next year or like maybe in nine months hopefully the download speed could be maybe 150 and the upload could be maybe 50 to like 70 uh, megabytes per second up i i don't know it just depends on how they upgrade but so far this is still pretty usable um i think it, i think uh, um verizon is finally improving the coverage in a lot of areas. What I think, what I know Verizon is doing is they're basically, um, they're basically improving the coverage from San Diego to OC and then jumping all the way to LA. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure LA is huge. They have thousands of towers. They have millions of people. And just the, just the thought of upgrading all those towers, I'm pretty sure they have to turn them off and tweak and, you know, tweak out the equipment, put, it's um put you know whatever they gotta put um small cells if they gotta put millimeter wave c band um, cbrs all that stuff i don't think i uh, i was talking in the group chat uh i don't think they said they weren't gonna put cbrs in la because i think they already got c band or millimeter wave down so that kind of makes sense but these are the speed test guys and might i say i was very content with these hopefully i get to do some kind of other speed tests like this soon hopefully it improves but let me know what you guys think about this. Do these speed tests need improvement? Are they actually pretty good? Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.